This is question number 18 on the June 2015 calculator paper. Okay, let's read through this question. The owners of a car park record the number of cars parked at 12 noon each day. The table shows information about the number of cars parked in the car park at 12 noon each day in July and in December. So in July, here are his figures. December, here are his figures. We have the least number of cars, the lower quartile, the median, the upper quartile, and the greatest number of cars. Now these things should ring bells in terms of some of the statistics that you use. Let's look at part A. What type of diagram could you draw to represent the information for each month? That's exactly what I was referring to. And you should recognize from the fact that what they're talking about, it has lowest value, lower quartile, median, upper quartile, greatest value. It's a box plot that they're referring to. And that's a pretty easy and straightforward mark. Let's look at part B of this question. In part B, we've got a lot more space, and they've asked us to compare the distribution, compare the distribution of the number of cars recorded in July with the distribution of the number of cars recorded in December. Now, this should be a pretty standard type of calculation that you're familiar with. It's not so much of a calculation, but a comparison between these two values, and the standard comparison between them are for comparing the ranges and the medians. So if we think about this, and I'll, I'll put some workings in this space, right? And I'll take it straight from the table. So for July and December, the median for July is 95. The median for December is 130. And the ranges for July, it's going to be the greatest, 178. Take away the least, which is 75. And I could tell that that's going to be 103. And for December, it's going to be 180. The greatest, take away 100. And I could tell that the range for December is going to be 80. Okay, now all that's left for me to do is to write this up in the answer space that they've provided me. And I'm going to make sure I write in clear English. Remember, there's a star next to this part of the question. So they're marks for quality of written communication. You need to try to keep it in context. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to write the median number of cars recorded in July. And I always make reference to that number. The median in July was 95. And in December, it's 130. So in July is less than the median number of cars recorded in December. And that number was for December 130. Okay, so that's my first comparison. My second one is the range of the number of cars recorded in July. So the range for July was 103. In December, it's 180. So in July, it was more than. So in July, it's 103. In December, it's 80. So in July is more than the range of the number of cars recorded 
in December, which was 80. Okay, so make sure you do take your time with this. This is a pretty straightforward question because although it says compare, and although there are marks for quality of written communication, you can do your calculations relatively easily to find the median and range. Instead of using the range, we could have used the interquartile range. Compare and make at least two comparisons. Try to keep the numbers right as reference points in your question and do take your time as you're doing it. As I indicated, it's a straightforward question and you should be able to get all the marks in this question.